Hello everyone, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to learn how to ask your boss for a promotion or for an increment. Now, we all work really hard to either get promoted or to get a good raise in our salaries. So, how do you really approach your boss to either get promoted or to get a raise? Well, that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. So before we go ahead and approach our bosses for a promotion or for an increment, let's just do some homework today. The first tip that I have for you is to be subtle in your tone. Well, being subtle in your tone is ideal. Rather than asking for this direct, uh, straightforward promotion or for a raise in your salary, it's important for you to ask for more work. Well, this shows your dedication towards your company and of course your dedication to attain the goals and objectives for your company. Now, when you do so, you need to be very polite and respectful towards your boss. You can't just directly go and say, hey, I need a promotion or I need that much awaited raise in my salary. Well, that's not polite. That would come forward in a very rude way. So rather than doing so, you need to be extremely polite and subtle in your tone and ask for more responsibilities. So make sure that you be subtle in your tone. The second tip that I have for you is go loud about your work. Now here when I say go loud about your work, well I don't really mean that you need to start screaming about the work that you have done for this company. Well that's not right. Well here I want you to talk about your achievements, to talk about how well you have managed your job profile or your job post. So make sure that you talk about your contributions towards the company and towards achieving the goals and objectives of your company. Now when you do so in a very professional manner, I'm sure that the boss will consider for what you are asking, your promotion or the raise in your salary. So go ahead, talk about your contributions and your achievements that you have done working for this company. The third tip that I have for you is never badmouth about your co-workers. Oh, that's extremely unprofessional. Now, it's important for you to always talk as a team player. If you end up badmouthing about your co-workers, that's going to reflect your personality. That's going to show what kind of a person you are, how negative you are. And you really don't want to show that side of your personality in front of your boss. It's not going to create a great impression and that's definitely not going to give you any raise or a promotion even if you deserve it. So make sure that you always work and you show that you are a great team player. It's always going to be a plus point for you and a big asset to the company if you are a great team player. So always talk in a positive and professional manner when you talk about your achievements. The fourth and the last tip that I have for you is never crib. Oh yes, that's what I have always noticed that people keep cribbing and complaining about their jobs. Well, you're not a crybaby. Well, you cannot keep cribbing and complaining that I have been slogging for so many years and I definitely deserve a raise. Or, you know, there are people who end up saying that, uh, look at my co-workers. I mean, they don't even work as hard as I do and still they are paid much higher. Ah, oh, that's comparing. Now, you need not compare yourself with your co-workers. 
Neither would you ever crib and complain. That's again not professional and your boss is definitely not going to appreciate that. So stop cribbing, stop complaining and just show your work with your hard work and your achievements. And that would surely get you a good raise or even a great promotion. So this brings me to the end of this session. Hope these tips are useful to you and try to brush up your communication skills so that you approach your boss in a very confident manner and deserve and get the much awaited promotion or the raise. I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care and all the very best for your promotion. Well, hello and welcome to yet another fabulous video. My name is Rima and today I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks for a confident voice. Now in the course of a conversation, it's possible to use certain means, certain methods to make your voice sound surer, more authoritative and confident. So let's look at a few. Now the first tip is to speak more slowly. Now it always happens that when we're nervous we end up speaking too fast and some of us are naturally fast speakers. Now when you're speaking too fast it makes you appear not confident. So the important trick is to speak more slowly and friends, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. Today we are going to look at 5 body language tricks that would make anyone instantly like you. Now definitely it's important that people should like us. It kind of boosts up our confidence, right? So most of the people that I meet are very much in love with themselves, very much interested in themselves. So how do we capture and hold their attention towards our conversation or towards us without saying a word? Well, it's a wonderful body that would help to capture and hold their attention. So we are going to look at these ways to win friends and to influence people. that I have for you is the flooding smile. Please do me a favor, please smile. Definitely it's very important to smile. Now of course this doesn't mean that you keep grinning. All day long keep grinning, that would not help. That would not impress people either because they would think that you do this for everyone. So not that impressive. What you need to do is, the moment you greet people, give a very positive, warm, responsive smile. Okay, so the smile should flood over your face and that would stimulate good feelings. It would give a very positive feeling to the opposite person and will show that you are really happy and you're feeling very good. 